Hi, I'm Jeff from Solar Choice, and today we're doing a review of the iStore heat pump. Solar Choice has no association with any manufacturers of heat pumps, so in these reviews we can really say whatever we want. So let's talk a little bit about the, the unit we have here. It's a 270 litre model. Um, I still have two models, the 180 and uh, the 270 litre. So the 270 litre is suitable for three to four people in their household. The smaller units can accommodate two to three people. It just depends a little bit on your hot water usage. As a rule of thumb, you can assume that an average person will use around 50 litres of hot water per day and that you should size your tank to be a little bit larger than your typical daily usage. Now this iStore heat pump unit is what they call an all-in-one unit. So you can see the water tank is at the bottom and above that sits the compressor or the actual heat pump device. Uh, and this is the, the brains and operation of the system that's actually heating the water uh, and cycling back into the tank. So a lot of the heat pumps that are available in Australia are this all-in-one style solution, but sometimes you'll see a a split system where you'll have a water tank and a separate heat pump unit. And now that the heat pump unit, when separated, looks a little bit like this unit here, which is the air conditioning unit for this household. So it just depends a little bit on the style that the manufacturer has gone for and the preference for the consumer, whether um, they want a all-in-one style solution or they're happy with it to be two separate units. Now some things to note on this iStore uh, solution is they have a LCD screen here which is covered by this plastic case. This is where you will configure the system, you can see at any time what the temperature the system is operating at and configure the settings. So uh, in this case this house has a, a solar panel array set up. Um, and the unit set on a timer to operate between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. when solar power is generating the most electricity. That means this heat pump is, is going to be practically run for free by this, by this household. The iStore units do have a backup traditional heating element. So in a normal electric storage heating system, there will be a, an element in the water that effectively just heats up. Um, so these heat pumps do have that element as well as a backup. So if there's any issue with the heat pump operation, you can run the heating elements while you do some repairs or in situations where you've got very large hot water usage, maybe you've got a, a number of guests in town, you can run the backup element in tandem with the heat pump to give you a bit of extra hot water. The iStore tank is made out of a vitreous enamel. Um, it's a common product used on various hot water systems. It's, it's sort of a mid-range solution. There are um, some of the premium heat pumps do have a stainless steel tank, which will give you a, a bit of a longer lifetime, but this is, this is definitely what's sort of expected for your, your cost-effective solutions. Now, one point to note with these iStore heat pumps is they do come with a, a pretty good warranty. So when compared to the market, the iStore warranty is definitely superior because they offer uh, basically five years parts and labor warranty. So the parts cover the tank, the hot water system, all the electronics for five years and includes any labor. So if you need uh, an installer to come out here to diagnose it, to take it away and and run some repairs and bring it back. All of those labor charges are covered in the iStore unit for five years. What we see in a lot of the other cost-effective heat pump units is that maybe the labor is covered for the first one or two years, and sometimes those labor clauses can be quite ambiguous. So it's unclear to us as consumers whether you know, you're going to be uh, approved and, and covered for the, the labor costs. So how much do these iStore heat pumps cost? This unit is the 270 litre, so it, it in the market will, will cost around $2,700. Now that's a wholesale cost that's available to an installer of these units and doesn't include the installation costs, the freight, um, and also any rebates that may apply in your situation. The 180 litre unit, it's a little bit smaller, so you can save about $300 with uh, a wholesale price of around 
So it's not a lot of money to upgrade to a bigger system. It'll give you a bit more security in the long run, especially if you have plans that your circumstances might change in terms of the number of the people in the house. Um, so it's not a bad idea to, uh, to go with the 270 liter option. So let's look at some of the pros and cons of this unit. So on the pros side, we've got that warranty, the five years parts and labor, definitely stacks up well against the competition. We've also got it as a cost effective unit. So it is priced well compared to, to others. So in that mid range, towards the lower side of, of, of what these units can cost, typically we see these units can cost anywhere from $2,500 all the way through to $6,000. So uh, if you're on a budget, this is a friendly option for you. So if you look at some of the cons to consider, one is the refrigerant that this unit uses. It's an R134A. So this um, is actually a refrigerant that is likely to be banned in the Australian market soon. And that's due to its very high global warming potential. It's got a rating of 1,430. It's a high number. Um, some of the other units use R290 refrigerant, which has a global warming potential of three. So significantly better. So definitely a consideration as a lot of people putting in heat pumps are looking for uh, not only energy efficiencies, but an environmentally friendly solution. Now, some of the other cons to consider is that this is a 270 litre unit as their largest size. If you've got a big household with five or six people, um, a big family, you might want to consider some of the other op options on the market with a 300 litre or 350 litre tank. Additionally, as we discussed earlier, it is a loud unit when it's operating. So this is the sound of the ice door running. Um, you can see the, the compressor fan is moving there and there's a, a, fan, a fan sound that you can hear. It's rated to about 48 decibels. So potentially not a unit that you want close to an entertaining area or a window that you like to keep open. So that's all we've got to cover today in the ice door heat pump review. Hope you enjoyed it feel free to head to our YouTube channel where you can look at all of our reviews across heat pumps, EV chargers, solar panels and batteries. And as always, you can come to the Solar Choice website where you can compare quotes from heat pump installers for free. Thank you.